Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. So I made a video before in the past that shows you how to download and install the real VNC server. So technically this allows you to remote to this computer wherever you are. And here is the icon for it. Because that this is your identification that's used to remote for it. Again, this is for the home use only. If you have a commercial, please sure that you purchase the commercial one. This is only for personal use only. So we pretty much installed the feature where you can set up the host to this computer but what happens if you want to have a different computer that you want to install the viewer or let's say you have another computer that you installed host and you want to be able to install it well that will be showing you how to get this program working technically already shows right here that connecting users consideration by signing into the vnc viewer but i'm going to show you how to get to their full site and show you how to download that file so let's go ahead and get started So first thing you do is go ahead and just open up a browser. I'm gonna go ahead and just go to Google Chrome. And once you get to there, go ahead and just type in realvnc.com. And pretty much comes to their site. It tells us that there's pretty much the pay for the 30 day trial or buy the VNC Connect. We really don't care. We're actually gonna ignore this. Go ahead and select one of them though. Pretty much we're gonna select the Connect. I'll take it to this site, but ignore that. What you're gonna look for is go to download and you're gonna see the VNC viewer. Go ahead and select that file. Now, the VNC viewer can be installed on pretty much all of these systems, from Windows to Mac to Linux, Raspberry, iOS, Android, Chrome, and technically these additional ones called Slores, HP UX, or AIX, then technically you can go into that if you know what they are. I'm not going to show you what they are. So pretty much if you have like an iPhone, you can remote your computer anywhere, or let's say you have Windows or Mac, it's a very cool feature. My computer right now is a Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and select Windows and select the download the VNC viewer. So VNC Viewer is pretty much downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and just open up this file. And this came up. I'm going to go ahead and exit the browser. I don't need it anymore. From this point, you can choose which language. It has a few other languages here. I'm going to go ahead and just leave English and press OK. And it comes up to pretty much the VNC Viewer setup. So I'm going to go ahead and press Next. It tells us about the license and agreements. I'm going to go ahead and just ignore and just press Accept and press Next. Tells if you want to create a desktop shortcut. I'm actually going to select and select where it says entire feature will be installed on this local hardware and press next. It tells us to click the install to begin the installation. Well, yeah, that's what I'm wanting to do. You'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes and let it do its work. Very quick program, nothing too major. And says it's finished. So now we have the VNC viewer and you would think like, well, where's my computer? I don't see it here. I just downloaded the program. What you need to do is technically if you're in local of your network, you can just type in the IP address to remote in. No problems at all. But because we're going to be setting this up wherever you are, you will need to sign into your account. So right here, if you don't have one, you will need to create one. If you do create one, just follow the procedures. You will need to set up your email, set up your information, set up that it's for personal use, not for commercial, unless you're going to pay for commercial. And pretty much follow it. It's going to send an email to you, verify it, accept it, and follow the procedures. So pretty much right here, I already created one. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the email. And I'm gonna go ahead and just type in the password that I use for it. And here I am signing in and here it is. So technically if I had another computer, I actually would select it. And I possibly will do it real quick maybe to show you. And so right now I have a computer right here. If this technically was a different computer, if I was somewhere else, this would be the one that we're using right now. I named it as this one. It technically is underneath John's team, and here it is. Now it comes to a point that if you do not want to allow people to remote into your computer wherever you are, just be sure you sign out, and you should be back to normal. If you have any computers that have VNC servers technically installed for locally, you can do that too, just by typing the IP address, because it's an alternative to remote your VNC viewer. But that isn't more depth. You can probably search that more on YouTube if you want to look for it up. But that's pretty much it. How to install the VNC viewer. So pretty much on the other end, if you have a host that you want to remote to, you install the VNC server. And wherever you are, you can install the VNC viewer that will allow you to remote to that computer that you installed the server. Pretty simple. And you can probably look into more details about it, but it's a very useful. So let's say if you're pretty much at home and you installed the server, installed the VNC server. And let's say you're traveling to like New York or to California and you're like, oh my gosh, I left some important files I need for my computer. Well, as long as your computer is still on and not set up to go to sleep, you might, that's another story. Um, you can pretty much just remote your computer in, find the files that are needed and send it out. And that's pretty much it.
Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest I will see you on the next video.